Wow. How funny is that? Wow. That's crazy. That was the title of it. It's What's up? Hi. So here we are. I want to give everyone a little bit of update what's been going on the last couple of days because of lovely Jessica. And my beard, I have mask beard right now. Is that what you call that? Mask beard. Mask beard. I love it. So I've been a long time fan of uh, Grant Cardone, who is now on Undercover Billionaire season two. And uh, as of a week or two ago, we found out that Glenn was asked to speak at his 10X event. Uh, Grant hosts a 10X event every year. Usually there's thousands and thousands of people that go to this event. Well, the event is starts tomorrow. And I uh, just knew how bad I wanted to go. Knew that Glenn speaking at the event, we might be able to get some connections. Tickets sold out weeks ago. So behind the scenes, just has been working our magic with Mindy, Glenn's wife, Mindy. And uh, because of that, I was kind of surprised with this trip to Miami for the weekend. Uh, it's definitely a once in a lifetime opportunity. Never thought I'd be able to go to an event like this or even afford to go to an event like this. Yep. But because of my amazing supportive girlfriend and my very, very close friend Dear and friends. mentor, yes. Glenn and Mindy, they helped make this happen for Thank us. Thank you so, guys. Thank yes, you so much. We can't wait. We'll see ya. Yeah, yeah, we were for the weekend. Give it a try. I've never been to an event. I've always been a fan of Grant. When Glenn told me, when Grant was filming, when they first started filming, Grant and Glenn was like, oh yeah, they got to do that. Glenn had no idea who Grant was. Glenn is very, he's not out, he doesn't care who's who, he just does his own thing. I've always wanted to come to an event and Glenn was able to help make it happen. I think we're all going down here. Yeah, yeah we were on our way down. speaks. I'm excited for that. I don't know what to expect, <clears throat> so we'll see. Yeah, my wife and I watched the first season of Undercover Billionaire, and we just watched like 
specifically the amount of heart and energy that you poured into what you did with absolutely no expectation of payoff. Right. And so coming out of that, like our biggest takeaway from the whole season was, we gotta find RJs for our team. You know, we gotta, because I've always been that guy, yep. that's like, you don't care what the vision is, 100%, let's do it. Whether I had ownership or not. Yeah. And I saw that out of you and that's yeah, awesome. I really What's your name again? I'm Brandon. Brandon. RJ. RJ. So I do um, clothing. So I have a screen printing company and a retail business don't mind my girlfriend over here recording everything we do. Um, For our YouTube channel. Um, and uh, so we do that, and then I am involved in a uh, barbecue restaurant. Uh, I was on season one of Undercover Millionaire. Oh, nice. So Grant is on the what season now, so I was with Glenn Stearns on his. <laughs> so, so, Matt, Matt, tell everyone right now, you rented the, the whole bus out, right? This is what's we going on. We got the whole bus for you guys. You rented the whole bus, as you can see. The entire bus for you. You deserve this it. This is it. <laughs> this is it. One Undercover Billionaire star to another. <laughs> season Early... one and season two, coming in high. Yeah. Y'all want to do this again? Yeah! I want to do business with you. I want to grow your business. It takes a lot of money to do these events, okay? Like, you you don't even, nobody's going to spend this much money on an event. And that is right out of it. If you're not first, you're last. Do what they won't do. Do what they won't do, bro. Do, do what they won't do, baby. Saturday night, day day two, day two of the 10X Growth Con. We're back in our hotel room. But tonight was, there's an after party for some premier, we'll say some premier groups of um, people from the event. And we ended up partying for what, two hours, three hours with Grant, mm -hmm. maybe another hundred amazing business owners, business people. C Rock, got to see him tonight. Took a picture with him, um, and we watched Fat Joe perform a little private performance. Grant's helicopter was flying around for a minute, you know, show off, flexing real hard. Um, fireworks show, the fireworks. fireworks show, all all down the the um, ocean, like the piers yeah. or wherever it yeah. was, like the the beach. There were fireworks following the yacht. The yacht as we were going. As we were going down. So we just saw a fireworks show. It was Insane. Insane. It's like 11.30. We got to get up at like 5 a.m. tomorrow to get ready for day three last day. Yeah. So we'll see what happens. What's up, kids? With the Urban University program. We came to see Mr. Glenn Stearns. I know you guys all know him. Telling him a little bit, I was showing some pictures about uh, the first day we were there. And uh, yeah, he's wow. excited about it. He's excited to hear what we're doing with you guys. You know, I really, RJ, I tell you, I mean, what you guys are doing with Urban University is awesome. Don't forget, no matter where you guys are right now, he, this guy right here, he's speaking on I've the stage there. today. He's been there. He's been I where you guys have been. on this guy's couch. Forced him to. <laughs> Forced him to. <laughs> Because when you're 40, it's never too old to shotgun a beer. Oh, God! Yeah. Go, 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 There you go. Keep going. Oh, man, I haven't done that in a long time. Come on, Jess. Free, free. I've seen an undercover billionaire. I've done that in like Bobo 15 Brown. years. <laughs> Where are you from again? I'm from, from Havana, Florida. Okay. Florida. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. 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 Yeah.